Bridget called me, and it was so loud. So I, I put her to voicemail, and Valerie yells. She's like, "We got into Sundance!" And I'm like, "Ah!" And then I think we high fived, and we're very excited. And you know, when you talk film festivals, it's it's one of the ones you mention. I really love people, and I really love working with people and connecting with them. And like, I feel as a director, that's a huge gift. We're on our way to take new headshots, director headshots. Oh, I like this. Is this cheetah? I think it's leopard. Leopard. Ah, it's a big cat. Deal. And you said your kids are in it? My kids are in it. And, and my son vomited on the floor twice. Oh my god. So we called him for the day. My daughter was like, she got a nosebleed on set. Later, she was like, I think I want to be a director, not an actor. And I was like, oh, really? Why? Because I've worked as an actor for uh, a long time. And she was like, well, because if you're an actor and you get a nosebleed, you have to stop. And if you're a director and get a nosebleed, you just go like this and keep going. <laughs> and I was like, that's beautiful. That's so funny right here. I like Blocks that. is an existential comedy. That's what I've been calling it. So it's like a surreal comedy about the mother of two young children who begins to spontaneously vomit toy blocks. That character's played by Claire Coffey. And then my own children play the children in it. It's about sort of managing the overwhelming feelings of early parenthood, even when things are going pretty well. We're also taken into her world psychologically, and the blocks are a reflection of that psychological trauma and chaos that she's experiencing. Bridget and I met in college. We both went to Northwestern University. It's really fun like watching a friend become a parent and all the feelings and anxieties and worries and how they leak out in all these different strange ways. It's really interesting to try to, to put that into, into your art. You know, when you're making art and raising kids and um, even when you're not raising kids, just making art is chaotic and hard enough as it is. And as Bridget's star rises, um, and it's rising really fast. It um, certainly, it, it's great for her, obviously, but it's also great for our family, for our children, for me. I have to go to my editors. We're gonna go do an editing session together. Some of it was sound design, right? That's, he's saying all of that dialogue there, Georgie is. Yeah. But then all the stuff when she walks through. With... There are also so many other great lines that she has that we didn't use. So many. And, and reactions. It took a while. It took a really long time. What I find funny about editing is you spend so much time. Like, we go through so many cuts, so many versions. And then it's like at the last minute, you can just make a decision that changes everything. Yeah, for the better, hopefully. Yeah. The film, I, I don't know, to me, reflects her so well. Because um, it is funny, you know, her kids are in it. It's almost like a family movie. This is fun because we could kind of look at the amount of days and stuff that we cut. Oh, oh my gosh. I really got my money's like 40 work. days, yeah. i do it again. I have this image of a woman getting her kids ready for school, and you see the hustle, and then at the end of it, she throws up a bunch of toy blocks. The idea of blocks came to me because I was really taken aback by how weird so much of becoming a parent was. Boundaries with your young children, that's not a real thing. Your child literally survives on your body. Like, so there's this like very biological 
odd change happening and simultaneously there were more objects in my home than there had ever been. I just felt like I needed to generate something other than my own feelings of frustration and overwhelm. I've been very lucky to make my living as an actor and very grateful that I have, but I don't always feel like it draws upon everything that I want to do or everything that I can do. I get to do everything I like when I'm directing. What do you think, Sarah? We weren't going to cut, but I was thinking there'd be, like, down here, a little bit of blood. Bridget has a lot of, like, secret weapons that she brings to the table. One of which is she's been acting for a long time. Uh, she went and got her master's in marriage and family therapy, and then becoming a mom, you know. I would say that because she's dipped her toe in all these different waters over the years, she might be a more fully formed filmmaker at this early stage of her directing career already. She's always been a great writer because she's such a great observer of human nature, and she is interested in you, and she wants you to feel at home. I mean, she welcomed people into her home. She welcomed people into her inner life. Hi, this is Bridget, Phoebe's mom. I just missed a call from you. No, I'm at AFI being filmed while I'm on this phone call. OK, thank you. Thanks for telling me. Phoebe's sick. Phoebe has a tummy ache and got a little bit sick at school. So my parents are going to go get her so I can finish this. <sighs> it's distressing. Hello. Hi. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Zoe, don't be alarmed by the film crew I oh, brought with me. <laughs> this is you. Woohoo! Oh, thanks, Zoe. What a good sport. I'm so excited. I made that joke, but I do, I feel like celebrating. Also, it's so, who has a tape anymore? I really hope we don't see any mistakes. <laughs> I think like right here, maybe. What if, what if we don't like the movie anymore? We'll have to withdraw it. Oh God, why did you have gone through all the trouble? Doesn't always hold like up. Movie time? It was, do you remember? Oh wait, it's time to watch it. the movie. Movie time. <laughs> has been checked. Sundance is gonna be such a great celebration of the work we've already done, and then uh, a wonderful opportunity to see where we can take it. Helping someone make something creative when they're so vulnerable is just such a, it's, it's just a special thing to like be there with all of them and yeah. I don't know why I'm crying, I guess. Uh... I'm really excited that everyone's coming. Me too. All of us are coming in your house. You're with Claire, Allison, our costume designer. Mm -hmm. So Nick, our editor, and Jake, our DP, are coming. It's very nice that everyone's coming. Yeah. I feel like it's a real vote of confidence for the film, but also really? like that the experience was good. Yeah, yeah. so I'm excited about that. Ah, Kathy. Cheers. Yeah. Yay! Oh. Are you nervous to see it for the first time? Um, like with an audience? Like with audience. a real yeah. audience? Real audience. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, I'm not nervous. I'm excited yeah. too. Yeah. I'm prepared to count the laughs. Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, no, I'm very excited. Yeah. It's fun to see it, obviously, with people, but this will be the biggest house by far, the biggest audience. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm excited. OK. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for my kid clothes. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Thank you for everything. Bye. 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 Mm -hmm. See you soon. Bye. 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 Talk to you even sooner. Yes. OK, bye. I'll see you in, in the like mountains. Hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See you in the mountains. Yeah. Bye. Well, I'll see you at Burbank Airport first, <laughs> but yeah. Yes. OK, bye. This is a great airport. It is, it's the best. Careful, it's really heavy, Dad. It's really heavy. All right. Okay, Goodbye. I love, I love you. you. It's great to have you, Dad. Thank, Thank you. Okay. I love you so much. Right. Take care of the kids. I'll come on duty. Okay. okay. I love you, bye. I'm feeling very nervous. Bridget. Hi. Ah.
I'm very excited, but I'm like, I'm kind of shaky with nerves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know my kids are gonna be fine and grandparents are coming and all of that, but I feel nervous about leaving them for seven days.